on one more light before we get started. There we go. So, um, as you guys know, I made kind of that um, dwarf type figure for classics. And I told you guys I have to go back later on and actually paint it up and make it look more classic, more like a classic figure. So that is what today is all about. So first thing I did is I went and put a, a matte finish on all of the silver parts so I can put a nice uh, um, dark wash on it. I kind of wish I would have done the same with the, the skin tone parts too, but we'll see how it turns out and what goes on with it. All right, I do have my video up so I can see who's here. Let's see. Oh, also I got a fan right here. Ooh, see, there's my fan. That way I can, I can dry the parts quickly. And I have a heat gun right there for the same purpose. So I got my fan and heat gun ready to go. And I have a classics figure right here. This is the first release He-Man. And the first release He-Man had a lot more shading on his muscles than the second release He-Man. So you have to decide if you want to go with the first release by adding shading on the muscles or just stay with the second release that has very little shading. So let's go ahead and pull this, this tape off. And let's get started. Let's see who's on here. Juan Solo, thanks for joining us. Charles, thanks for being here. James, thanks for being here. Matt Fee, thanks for being here. It's always cool to see you guys pop on. So the masking doesn't have to be perfect, just putting a clear coat on. So I just kind of stick some masking on there to keep most of the parts from getting the clear coat on it. But if someone gets on the other parts, it's not that big of a deal, really. tape in the garbage all right then I got some little cups here to, to mix my different things in so first things first let's try to do a nice black wash on these silver parts and see how it comes out let me get these q-tips all out of here this is my just in case things go wrong q-tips so usually I don't need them so I will set them over here by the heat gun and let's set all the skin parts over here so we don't accidentally get black on them. All right, so let's get a small cup here. And we need a little bit of water. Just a little bit. We're talking just like a drop or two, just, just to offset how thick the black is by itself. So to do this, I first pour it into the lid. And then I try to get just a drop or two. There we go from the lid so you can see not much in there at all now I'm going to use the inks and I have a link to these paints in the description these are my inks I use first and this works great for shading and being that we're just going to add a black wash and I'm going to use this brown wash later too now if I want to paint some details these paints work great for that so if I look at these parts if I see some details I want to go back and paint I can use these to paint them. So you know what, maybe I should start with that. Maybe I should start with some of the details and see if we can't get some coolness going on. So let's go ahead and pull those out. And let's take a look here. So we could probably paint some of these parts. We could make the chains black if we wanted to or do the skulls a certain color, or whatever else we want to do. Just for kicks, I might pull out my other Ram Man just to see what they did when they made him into classics. Oh, now I'm not talking to the microphone. Sorry about that. My light's ready to fall. That's why it's so dark in here. There we go. All right. Ram Man, Ram Man. No base layer before color. Actually, I did put a, a clear base layer on there, um, a matte finish. Okay, so you take a look at our Ram Man. He's got kind of like a light black wash on him and that's it. So I might just go with that. So I'm surprised I didn't do some other painting on him to tell you the truth. All right. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's do this thing. Oh, my cap's stuck. It's always a bad sign when your cap's stuck. It means you're probably gonna have a clogged spot where the paint comes out too. 
Nope. The clog stayed inside there, so see. I'll just add two drops in here. A one, a two. Just for a real light wash. And then I want a really broad brush to do this. And look at that, just sucked up all the black right away. And we're just gonna go ahead and just put this on here. And we're gonna keep smearing it on there until it does not look quite so bad. Basically, once you get all the bubbles out of it, it will make it so it looks a little smoother. Oop, oop, oop. And just give it that little bit of detail we're looking for. See, it's starting to make the chains kind of pop out a little bit and some of the other details. So it's not a lot, it's just a little bit of detailing just to give it that kind of more classicized look to it. Now, if I did not put the clear coat on first, this wouldn't even adhere at all. It would just be slapping all over the place. And again, you just want to use a little bit. If you use a lot, it's going to make just black streaks all over. It's going to look horrible. So you want just a little bit just to catch some of the details in the sculpt. That's all we're going for. It's looking really good. All right, so not a lot, just a little detail. And you can see already the difference between the two of them. Just adding that little bit of black wash on there just makes it look really good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my fan on now. And let's go ahead and dry this. Turn on my gun of hotness. And it's just crazy, it's that little bit just makes all the difference in the world to give it that just slight little detail and it brings the shine back out through the through the matte finish too thanks Timu I appreciate it all right let's move on to his leg armor now and let's take a look here now there is some things you could do to colorize this a little bit like you could take and put green over these areas here or something before you put the black wash on I think I might do that. I think I might paint the ribbons on here. Ribbons of green. Let me go and grab some green out of here. I'll take this darker one. Now, I have this whole kit that's nothing but greens. So you can see all different greens we have here. And I'm guessing I like this one here, the gothic green. So forget this one. I don't want it to look too weird. I want it to actually kind of match. So let's go ahead and go with now, I didn't put a link to this one, but once you click the links I have, you can quickly search for these. And let's see, we want Goblin Green. And Goblin Green, look at that, first one out of the batch. Now, what I bought all these greens for was so I could paint my, um, my Cringer head. I knew I needed a lot of different greens in order to do this right. Come on and shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Oh, come on and shake a little closer now. Shake a little closer. All right. As you can tell, I bought these a little while ago, so... Now, for this, I'm going to turn my fan off. 
And I'm just gonna use a lid as opposed to a cup this time. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lid. I'm gonna get a little more detailed brush for some of this stuff in order to get close. Ugh. Really shaking it up, trying to mix the greens up. Need to get one of those little mixers that shake it around. Could the silver wash work over the silver plastic? Yeah, silver wash could work. That could be something you could do. But but check it out. Look how close this actually already looks to the classics. I mean, it's not exact. I could probably use a little more black wash on it. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's getting kind of close. Maybe after it dries, I might do a second coat of black wash on it. We shall see. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get this green out. Even all it's shaking, it's still not mixed that great. So I'll go ahead and finish the mix right here on my little cup. You know what? I need to go grab my, my painting glasses. I'll be right back. You guys can stare at the paint. I go grab my close-up glasses. I was unable to find my painting glasses, but I found some other glasses. I'll just toss over the top of my other glasses. There we go. Ah, don't quit your day job. You're meant to be a singer. I know. It's funny. My youngest boy used to always joke around and do little songs with him. And uh, um, he said, Dad, you are a great singer. I said, uh, no, actually, I'm not. Uh, but because you keep hearing me all the time, you just think I am now. So it was kind of funny how he uh, actually thought I was a good singer at one time, and it kind of made me chuckle. Okay, let's see. I just want to do just the ribbons of shame. Hopefully this dries darker once it's done. Normally I'd do a small spot and see how it comes out, but... So for those that don't know what Ribbons of Shame are, if you watch the movie Gung Ho with uh, Michael Keaton, it's a really fun watch. In there, they talk about the Ribbons of Shame. And it always cracks me up. So when I'm at work, I'll make jokes about it sometimes to people and they do something wrong. I'll say, go put on your Ribbon of Shame. Yes, yeah, one guy, he was actually from a different location. He's a number of states away from me. I told him I was going to mail out his ribbon of shame so he can uh, wear it proudly when he goes out to shopping. Look for it in your mail, man. The ribbon of shame. I like to use these angled brushes, so you can use a tip to be close, or you can use the whole thing you want a fatty brush. So that is my goal, is to use, I have to ask my wife and my friends many times for Christmas and birthdays, hey, if you're gonna buy me paint brushes, get me the angled ones, please. A little more versatile on where you're gonna use them, how you're gonna use them. All right. So we got one stripe done. On to the second stripe. This one's a little bit thinner. You have to paint those happy stripes. All right. Oops, sorry about that. I'm probably out of camera frame, aren't I? 
I can't look and see what the camera's doing at the same time when I'm trying to paint. So I apologize if I get out of the camera frame. You know, I'll just angle this now. That way I know when I start leaning over, you guys can still see it. You know, a cut of one kind of fun is to actually redo it in blue instead of green and paint over the green to make it blue so he's a different color motif than uh, Snake Armor He-Man. Oh well, too late. It's going green. Not too shabby for country boys. All right. Is it the most perfect paint job in the world? Eh, not really. But I think it's coming out fine. All right, a little bit of double on this one. Double trouble. Now it's hard, they kind of got a strip up here on this one, but it's different. It's not cloth, it's metal looking. So I'm not gonna paint that one up there. And then here, it's kind of tricky because it goes right up to that pad right there. I should have grabbed my smaller paintbrush to get those little areas. Oh. And that is why we have the Q-tips. Scrape off any areas that I botched up on. All right, I got my itty bitty teeny tiny brush now. All right. Coming through and cleaning up all those little edges. All right, one done, one to go. What do you think? Is that right? A little bit lighter in green, but that's not going to hurt nothing. It's just the style, man. On to the next one.
Still in camera view, good. This would be a really boring video, more than it is now, if uh, I was at a camera view half the time. This season I'm not even talking, just trying to paint this. You'd be like, what's going on? Why are you watching this video with nothing going on? See, at least when you paint a little bit, you can kind of hear and see something a little bit. to hit that later on with a small brush when I come back through with the itty bitty brush sometimes it's hard to tell where the sculpt starts and ends for some of these things because in origin sometimes it's just not super defined All right, I'm gonna grab my teeny weeny brush. Let's clean up these edges. Go. Hooray. It's just so hard, these small little areas. Almost done. All right, I think we got it. Hooray. So there we go. It's got a green straps painter now. Not too shabby. All right. Trying to think if I should paint his belt with some red or not. Yeah, that is pretty visible. Oh, you know what? It's gonna be covered with this belt. Never mind. It's not visible at all. Not visible at all. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more black wash on. We'll set this aside. Let's first dry it.
now that it's starting to dry, it's not too far off from the other boots. I mean, it's a little bit more green and not quite as uh, gray mixed, but not too bad. All right, see your guys' comments. Hey, Hyperdelic, thanks for joining us. Pop Actor, thanks for being here. Hey, uh, Perry, thanks for joining us. Let's see, Mike V, not bad at painting. I just lose patience. Yes. Which is bad if you're a doctor. You don't want to lose patience. All right, we need some water. Give me some water. This time I'm going to go for a couple more drops. I want a little, whoa, a little too much there. There we go. A couple more drops of black. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's mix it on up. Get some off the brush. And let's do this helmet. I got way too much on there for the helmet. Yep, way too much. I'll get it on with this brush and then I will take some off with the other brush that I happen to have right here. Right here. I was smart, I would have put this on a screwdriver first, like I usually do, but making a video and not really thinking. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Just a little black wash to give it that kick. I'm just gonna use a small brush on this one. I give up with the big brush. Of course now I, oh no, I got way too much on there. Ah! Now I'm out of brushes too. Okay, it's time to paper towel it. Where are my paper towels? Burr, burr, burr. And that looks pretty good there. Look at that. Look at the difference between the black washed one and the non black washed one. Way cool. All right. On to this one. If my paint's dry enough, we'll see. I'm going to use the big one so I can just put it on quick. Hoot, 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 hoot. some on his knee no where's my water and my q-tip remember q-tips are for emergencies Boop. If you waited too long, you have to go back with alcohol and fix it. But that worked pretty good. I 
I think that all looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do one just a little more coat on here. Just on the chains and stuff to just really have them pop a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's all looking pretty good now. All right, let's see your guys' comments. Add wash the loincloth. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I forgot all about the loincloth. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Oh, too much, no. I'll take it off the with the paper towel in a minute. Now I wanna avoid it on the green spots on here. So we will try to keep some off there. Emergency, got some of my red. And let's just dab it with the paper towel. Oop, oop. That was a close one. Well, that looks really cool. Thanks for reminding me about the loincloth. I forgot all about it. All right, so now we're gonna do one more little bit of wash. This one's gonna be a little more delicate. Let me turn my fan off here. I'm gonna use this brown, and this one sometimes goes wrong and sometimes works really well. But before I use this, I need to wash my brushes. My brushes are all full of greens and blacks and everything else. You guys can stare at this while I am gone. back you know I might add some wash to those shoes but if I do I'm gonna use my dark green wash not my black wash so let's think about this yeah I think I will so I'm gonna use this little brush right here and I got this dark green wash it's kind of cool There it is, black green. Oh yeah, that does look better. I'll put some up here on this, on our ties too. Oh, 
Way better. So probably I was at a camera angle the whole time, wasn't I? All right, so let's take a look at this guy. I just want to put a little bit of brown wash on him, but so ever so slight. just to kind of get those shoulders to pop a little bit. But again, you need to be very careful how much you use on here because it can go crazy on you. Just a few prime places, just like that. I think that looks pretty good. And of course, we do the same with the legs too. Just a little bit of wash on there, not a lot. All right, and now for his chest. Do the abs area. Under the chest. And again, just really light on here. You don't want to do a whole bunch. Just enough to offset it a little bit. Now, here's the scary part on his head. Now, for his head, I actually want to do a little more wash because it's not even the right color. So we're going to go ahead and recolor Steve Austin to a little bit darker brown. That's way too much. Too much, man, too much. Need some more water. Burp. There we go. There we go. You know what? He's going on the end of the paintbrush. Ooh. Much closer to the color, look at that. Woo! That's why I love these inks. You can just change the tint of something or the color of something slightly without having to repaint everything. Hey, how's that? 
a little bit closer to the color match. Maybe not exact, but closer. So that will work pretty good. This thing's like got a little too much up on top of his head. Let me just wash some of that off. There we go. That one looks better. All right, there, Yo Brenner. You're looking pretty good. And you can see the color difference on the inside of the head. Oh, my light's dead. Ugh. Time to switch lights. Ugh. So you can see the color difference on the inside versus the outside. I think that'll work pretty good. All right, that was kind of fun. So now, we just gotta, I should dry his head first. Herb. Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. I got this friend, he's actually really good at painting. I mean, he, he, he just kills him to watch my videos. He's like, dude, you just slopped the paint on, man. What the heck is that all about? I said, that's how I paint, man. That's just how I do it. Little slop here, little slop there, and it all looks better. Check out his leg one more time and smooth it out a little bit. Now that it's starting to dry. Whoa! The helmet. All right, just about done. It's got to do his chest now. All right, let's put it back together. Let's get them back together, folks. Uh. Uh. Fit, fit, fit. There we go. Uh. Yep. Uh, it's tight. Uh, now he looks like he actually fits in the classics now. Check that out. So much better. So much better, man. Cool. I'm happy with it. Thanks, Charles. I appreciate it. You guys, thanks for watching. That's all I got for this video. Whoa. I should turn this fan off. Then my stuff will stop blowing around. But uh, I think that looks way better than it did when I first put them together. And now he's moved up to the ranks. The Dwarf of Eternia. I'm the Dwarf of Eternia. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. 
I guess I should have done some wash on his arm cuff too, but oh well. Oh, it's Lefty Goldberg. I've been calling him Steve Austin this whole time. You guys are probably yelling on the thing going, Goldberg, Goldberg, what are you talking about, man? This guy doesn't know his wrestling figures. No, I don't. Back in the day, I did. Andre the Giant and uh, obviously uh, Hulk Hogan and uh, the um, Ultimate Warrior, but... Yeah, I don't know a lot of the new wrestlers. My green back away. My green back. All right. So remember, if you guys do stuff like this, do post it on the lounge so we can all see it and see how cool it is. And uh, that's all I got. I was a Goldberg fan as a kid. Nice. Yeah. All I need now is Legos. All right. Actually, it does look a lot better with, with the washes on it. So cool. All right. Good journey, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye now. Nice job, Bob Ross.